Before I get started, I do consulting on where you can move. I'll work with you to find the perfect place for you to move to. There's more information at the end of the video about that. Now let's get started. That is it for the Pee Wees. We're going to move into Junior Youth Open Barrels and then we'll go into Pee Wee Green Bowl Wee. The Midwest, everyone. A lot of people on the coast haven't really been to this part of the country before. And a lot of people in the Midwest haven't been to the coast. It's a region that's separated from the rest of the country, economically and culturally, too. I did an 18-day road trip in the Midwest in July of 2022. I went there because I like it there, and there's no better way to see the Midwest than in the summertime. So here's a collection of the different things I saw along the trip. We're going to begin in Kansas City, Kansas. In traveling to Nebraska, Minnesota, South Dakota, Iowa, and parts of Missouri. Right now we're in an abandoned housing project in Kansas City, Kansas. It's not a very nice place. Small town Kansas. You could drive around this state and turn a corner and find a small town around every corner. I did that. I spent a day in Little Sabetha, population 2,500. Neat little place. Total Americana. Nebraska has some really neat little small towns all over the place. I stopped in what felt like 50 of them in the four days I was here. All of them are very clean and quiet and safe. I enjoyed it a lot.
Look at that little jail. That doesn't hold a lot of people. That says a lot about how safe small town Nebraska is, right? I spent two days in Omaha, Nebraska. Great place. I think Omaha is one of the best places you can live these days. As Omaha continues to grow, we're going to see if it can avoid the big city problems we see in other major cities. Guys, what's happening right here? What's happening? What's happening? Uh. 
Did you know ducks never get cold feet? I did not know that, Mappy. But Nebraska gets really cold. So I guess they don't need duck boots. Get it, Mappy? No. I also hear ducks can swim eight miles an hour. But you probably already knew that too, Mappy. I spent a couple days in rural Minnesota in a small town near the South Dakota border. That was neat. There's really not a lot in this part of Minnesota except for some small towns and farms. And the weather was pretty dreary when I was there. That sucks. I want to see some sunshine. Brother Jay kind of takes care of all of the um, cattle management. We all kind of have our own. Uh, Are they, do they think I have food? Is that what they're looking at me? Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're probably interested in the dog. Yeah. Hey but guys. Yeah, for just having come, they're curious enough to know what, what you're up to. Yeah. Do they recognize new people? Are they like, like a dog? Oh, sometimes. It, it can be like this, or sometimes it can be that they're on the other side. Oh. Is this something I said? No. no. It's just another lovely cornfield out here in the summertime in Minnesota. Just another cornfield. Oh, wait. We're at a drive in. That's right. When's the last time you went to a drive-in, people? That's what they do out here in rural Minnesota in the summertime. Drive-ins. I went to South Dakota for three days. I went to its biggest city, Sioux Falls, a little tiny town, and a Native American reservation. All of these places felt way different from one another. I like South Dakota a lot.
This is about as rural as it gets. We are out in the middle of South Dakota. There is nothing but beautiful plains. Located at 1040 North 27th Street, just north of I-90, tour the new state certified ready mix facility and shop the Semstone Supply yeah, Store. Open to the public. On, Bring the on. kids by to the Touch a Truck event on site. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We just found a rodeo. How did we not know about this?
just said I had to stay on this. I spent the most time in Iowa. I was there for practically a week. I must have stopped in like 40 small towns along the way. When you're on a road trip, get off the main roads, people. That's when you see the best stuff, I'm telling you. Hey, we need the 12 year old boys to line up on the east side of the track. King Gullet, Chase Wilson, and Ashton Cobra. Just another Casey's in Iowa. Oh wait, the world's largest popcorn ball. What? care of his hands he won't eat it he, he picks it up and he takes it to a hand and calls the hand over okay, give, give the rooster something and she wants to watch him give it to somebody else <laughs> you know we always used to say farmers had to be you had to be a vet you had to be a mechanic you had to be uh, a little bit of everything and you had different jobs you took on throughout the year uh, you have to be a biologist you have to all these a, a chemist there's so many things now you have to basically be a computer engineer because you get in these uh, machines uh, it, it makes a difference so when we have GPS uh, there's no more overlap so you don't overlap chemical you don't overlap seed you don't overlap and that overlap is controlled by computers and global position GPS so you gotta get in a tractor and you have to set all that stuff up to where it functions when you need it to function. So that's a big deal, but it's allowed us to farm more ground. So instead of having one guy doing 240 acres, you have uh, one guy doing, well, we're doing 600 acres now. So what are, how old, how big until they get moved, sent off to? So they're like eight weeks old right now. And Six months, oh my gosh. They'll all be 300 pounds. No way. Yeah. How much are they now? How many pounds? Uh, they'll be like 13 pounds right now. Yeah. And by the end of the year, they're going to be full grown? Be yeah. Just right there. They'll be pounds. maybe selling some at 300 pounds by the end of the year. And right after the first of the year, uh, you'll be, yeah, you'll be selling them all out. So.
No one wants to hear you make car sounds. How did you screw that up? Shut up. The audio was missing. I wish your audio was missing, woman. Iowa has some big cities. Well, kind of big. I tried to get to a good mix of big booming places and cities that are struggling to survive. Yes, even Iowa has bad places. But Iowa's bad would be average in most other states. Reserve your seats now by stopping down to the box office or by checking out our website at accessbaseball.com. Fans, be sure to come back tomorrow as the Sioux City Explorers take on the Chicago Dogs for game two of this series. Cedar Rapids is a neat place. It was hit hard by flooding 15 years ago, but it's managed to really rebound well. I liked it there. It's quiet, cheap, and safe, just like most of Iowa.
Keokuk, Iowa is a city on life support. I didn't expect to see as much urban decay when I got there, but man, there really isn't much left here anymore, which is sad. My last day in Iowa was in Des Moines. I was here for two days. I think Des Moines is the best city in the Midwest right now, and you probably don't even know where it is. That looks really pretty. I'm 
resistente con él. Por tirar a esos 81 y de repente 89. Missouri was the last state I stopped in. Most of my time was spent in St. Joseph and in Kansas City. St. Joseph is another one of our struggling river towns that have been hit hard by economic decline. And finally, Kansas City, Missouri. It too is working to fix up its bad areas and bring in new jobs and housing all over the place. If it wasn't for the super high crime here, this would be a fantastic place to live. I like it here a lot too. In fact, I pretty much liked everywhere I went on this trip. Midwest people, I'm telling you. Trying to make this better. Damn. This is all tow up.
Are you looking to move and need advice? I do consulting. That's right. I'll sit down and talk about where the next perfect place for you and your family should be. I do it all the time. Together, let's find you a new home that's safe and checks all your boxes. You can get my email in the description to find out how I can help you find your perfect relocation. And I can also help you find your new house too. Email me and I'll work with you on not just helping you figure out where to move, but I can help you find your perfect home too. That's right. I know awesome, reliable agents all over the country, and I'd love to connect you to somebody who can help you search for that perfect home. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great. You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. You can also now buy my songs on iTunes and other formats. Click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And remember, while we all might have different views, we should all be nice to each other and try to make the U.S. a better place in a positive way. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.